Hey, welcome to the studio. Diana here today with another card and again I'm going to be focusing on design and how I design this card. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do, and this is using um, a new stamp to me, uh, set to me, which I just adore and I have had my eye on for a while. It's called Floral and Feathers and it's from W Plus 9. Uh, the first thing I do whenever I get a new stamp set is I play with it and the fir first part of that play is I make a print of the stamp set. I just ink it up, lay a piece of typing paper down on it and print that off and then I can I can see clearly, more clearly, if um, the, the prints and how they look. My th first thought on the design process for this card was I wanted to make very muted colors and I went through my stamps, uh, set, my ink pads, and began stamping things out in different colors and um, crossing things out if I didn't like it. The card on the right I did with masking, but I loved the card on the left. It has kind of a wild look that I enjoyed. I'll make a couple of cards. You can see the card on the left has a mask, a sort of a hill-shaped mask on it, and the card on the right uh, is just a uh, plain, going to be just a plain one layer where I will do some masking and leave some things unmasked. Mainly I decided to mask those large flowers so that they wouldn't, um, that, that wouldn't be normally, uh, you wouldn't be able to see through that. They're, they're pretty solid and so I just went with that idea. Now the card on the left, I find I, it, it wasn't working out. I did some bad stamping there so you will see me substituting another card here uh, at some point and I'm using I, I did decide to use the sand on this card. I'm just still testing, playing, seeing what happens, rotating my stamps. The big yellow uh, images I did put in a triangle and I think for the most part that's always a good idea uh, when you're designing something using three and scatter the, scattering those around the page so that your eye follows, easily follows that pattern. And you can see me using the mask now. I um, believe that's the catkin. I love that color. I also love the name. <laughs> it's a great name. Now I'm thinking I did it like that sand color after all. Sorry, my head's in the way. I used the sand on the one on the left and the fog on the right. And everything, of course, is listed below. And I thought that's the sea glass coming in. So these colors are outside of that bright yellow are pretty muted. I'd like to take another crack at this card and really use a um, muted palette. I was even thinking of how would it look if I did uh, gray, all gray, and a d couple of different values on a cream colored cardstock with just a pop of red somewhere. That's sort of a Japanese uh, color scheme that is really clean and, and really nice. So you just see me adding the little stems. I could have been a bit more careful, but I was trying not to get my head in the way. Um, ultimately, I don't think that when someone is looking at a card, they're going to look and see how perfect your stamping was. It, especially a card like this, it just looks like a big, beautiful bunch of flowers. Here's that thistle color from Simon. I love this color. It's so beautiful. It's very muted and the lavender is just perfect. It's 
actually perfect, I think, for that sort of open, lacy looking flower. And you, again, you see me masking just that big flower for the most part. You may have noticed that I have almost all of the stamps from the set mounted on blocks and I have been saving up um, blocks and adding to my collection because I think they really make stamping go faster. Uh, uh, checking under the flap of the mask there. I just want to make sure I get a nice continuous line that's all solid. Uh, at the end of this card, I put in another stamp that I will show you in a picture uh, over on my blog. So just finishing up here, adding more flowers until I feel like it's solid enough. Doing some stamping with that pale tomato kind of freaked me out a little bit. And it's just, uh, it they these inks really stamp darker and blotchier but then when they dry they're really they really soften and even out I like to check my usually like to check my stamps um, after I've inked it to make sure that it's not too blotchy and that I've got a nice bit of coverage I also like to stamp on a soft surface so that is a big big huge sketch pad you see in the background I'll use a composition book or a thick piece of foam from the craft store too I'm just adding some second layers here this is a nice set that has uh, some second layers and uh, I think there's just two and it's really a, just so whimsical to my eye I love this that they added feathers to this and I guess you could think about that feather element is so much like a leaf really that it makes a lot of sense so here comes that pale tomato again Oof, taking the risks there and my big head so I guess I double stamped that one I forget what I did I did it yesterday who can remember right <laughs> So just, I was just really having a good time with this, and I hope that you will too. Peeking under that little uh, mask once again and said, oh yeah, I need another, I need another flower or something there to fill that in. And you can see how that completes that line there. Um, so there's the two cards stamped at this point, and I'm happy with both of them that uh, there's, pale tomato on both those cards and the flowers are dry and the little dots are not. That just shows you how clearly they they do soften and now because I'm a sloppy stamper this little sand eraser from Tombow is awesome for people like me and maybe you because you can really erase ink. Uh, I used to just use an exacto knife and scrape it but I really like this sand eraser so I'll link that down below too. Very nice and neat now. And here's the two cards. Sorry about that lighting change. I'm not sure what happened there but um, I love the way the sentiments fit in. Uh, the one on the right you are a fighter uh, I'm going to add a little border that I'll bend I think I'll use the stamping up one that have a nice hash like just line border that I that's thin enough to bend and go around a curve thanks for stopping by today and staying till the end I uh, there should be some videos on the screen now that take you to another video on my channel and also a subscribe button so I appreciate it when you subscribe and I love to get that thumbs up and I really love to hear from all of you. Diana out!